Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from C2E2, and I'm here with the Warpo Toys team to talk about Legends of Cthulhu. So first of all, how's it going, guys? Rad, totally great. Yeah, yeah really we're having a good show. Good C2E2 so far? Yeah, awesome. yeah, everybody's freaking out, and no matter how many people that we feel like we've reached out to already, there's always like new fans that we meet here that are totally excited to see the product like in person and to experience the line for the first time. Excellent. So you guys just had a successful Kickstarter to basically launch your company and start things off with this awesome kind of retro style toy line called Legends of Cthulhu. Yeah. Um, it seemed to go very smoothly. You guys delivered a fantastic product. I mean, you know, I, I've enjoyed the toys. Uh, you know, I got, I reviewed them. It was really awesome. So yeah. you guys did really great with it. And it seems like everybody's really enjoying them so far. So I guess, first of all, I'll just ask, how, how has the whole thing gone for you with the launch and everything? Yeah, incredible. Like, uh, we had a lot, uh, you know, we delivered uh, our retail product at the same time that our Kickstarter stuff came in. We, we brought in one huge container and uh, did a bunch of retail sales, uh, wholesale sales, and saw reorders immediately, you know. So, and, you know, it was really a load off once those figures started getting out into the market and seeing the reviews come in, like yeah. yours, you know. Uh, I didn't really realize how much it was, like, bothering me in the back of my mind until, like, like all the positive reviews started flooding in, yeah. and I'm like, thank goodness, you know. Because, <laughs> you know, we, we, uh, we probably go overboard with the amount of detail and the amount of attention that we pay to these toys, but you never know how everybody's gonna react, you know, it's like, so, so to see, you know, all the the positive thumbs up on uh, and people really digging the uh, the amount of time that we put into the toys is, is killer. It's it's great. So you're holding something pretty awesome right here. This is yeah. definitely something that we need to talk about because uh, you guys kind of teased them almost a little bit with the Kickstarter as like yeah. a stretch goal, right. which didn't we didn't make it that far. Nope. But everybody wants this guy. Yeah, yeah. And he's here. Yeah. So what's the story behind so, him? We um. You know, the whole time when we started doing the line, we were like, we have to make a 12-inch Cthulhu, you know? And we put it as a stretch goal for Kickstarter because we wanted to make sure that we could handle everything that we were doing, you know? Like, it was really important for us to deliver on time and to deliver at a, at a level that, you know, that we expected to deliver at because it's our entry, you know? So uh, when we didn't make the, the Kickstarter, we reassured everybody uh, that, you know, he's definitely going to be coming. And after we got the product out and uh, started shipping everything, we just came to this realization that, man, we just need to commit and do the 12 inch figure and put it out ourselves because for one, people are gonna love it and we always knew that we wanted to do it and what are we waiting for? And I think getting our Kickstarter uh, backers fulfilled really took a, a little bit of a load off of our mind to, to see how much we, you know, how much extra time that we have and, uh, we just did it. So <laughs> we, uh, we worked uh, to get them sculpted, and uh, this guy will be uh, at uh, uh, being distributed through Diamond okay. and in Diamond previews in July, okay. awesome. and hopefully dr dropping around September. Excellent. Do we have a price point on them yet? $99.99. Awesome. And we've got a, uh, we're working with Ken Kelly again to create the box. The box is going to be just as killer as this yeah, guy. So yeah, he, uh, he'll be doing the, uh, yeah, so the box is going to be like your Castle Grayskull kind of corrugate with a litho really? label on the front. And uh, Ken did that, that painting for that label. And then you've got like your two color illustrations around the, uh, around the corrugate box. It's, okay. uh, it's going to look awesome. awesome. Yeah, really so it's awesome. like a fully enclosed box then with artwork yeah, on it? Like yeah. The Kraken. The yeah. Kraken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. That's incredible. So is this guy kind of a close to done model or is this still like early prototype stuff? Yeah. Th I mean, this is uh, not close to done. This is definitely a prototype, uh -huh. you know, not the same material that we'll be uh, going with in the final one, but to scale. And to the detail, you know, the, the master scope will be, you know, based off of this. Right. And uh, he'll have uh, seven points of articulation. The head sw swings back and forth. The, the wrists move because we wanted to make sure that the hand, you know, is going to be flexible so that it can hold your fingers. Right, right. Especially, it's got to hold the professor, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And then the wings snap into the back uh, so that, you know, we can ship them in a more, a little bit compact form. Awesome. Yeah. 
Well, this, this is definitely an exciting piece, and he's going to be like the centerpiece for the collection, which is really, really cool. Um, so that's exciting news. It's really great to know that this is going to be coming out, that we can purchase it. Um, is there any other plans for like other toy lines with Warpo? Or are you going to move forward with more Legends of Cthulhu? Is there any little bit tidbit of news you can give us? Sure, yeah. The, I mean, there are a ton of plans. Lots of plans. <laughs> the, uh, uh, we haven't revealed anything yet, but stay tuned for a whole new departure from action figures and a Kickstarter in November. Uh, yep, we'll be sending out information you know, to, to the press and out to our fans uh, early on for that. But uh, we're not ready to reveal where we're going. But uh, it's definitely going to be a new format from Action right. Figures. That was our, you know, from the very beginning, this, uh, this uh, approach to making toys we knew could go beyond Action Figures. It can go into any realm of collectibles, board games, plush, you know, anywhere where we see uh, this exciting area that we want to contribute to, you know. Right. So uh, we're working with some, some great uh, new uh, veteran artists to create this next project that's going to be it's going to blow your mind awesome. you're going to love it it's telling and, a whole new story we told a we told a great story with this right we told lovecraft through the lens of the 80s well for this next one it's a whole new story just as kick-ass though yeah? yeah yeah exciting stuff very very cool well hey you guys sounds like you got a lot of exciting things coming i mean this guy right here is already exciting enough but i'm very anxious to find out what all you guys have coming cool. is there a specific place people can go online to get more information on you guys warpo.com warpo.com Warpo. Warpo. yep so find out excellent any final word that anybody wants to throw in we're, we're not leaving oh. this is your chance uh well <laughs> i don't know yeah <laughs> all right good one exactly exactly <laughs> Awesome. We're, we are not departing from Legends of Cthulhu. 2016, we'll definitely 2016. see some more Legends of Cthulhu yeah. stuff. Uh, so don't worry. It's not going away. Series 2? Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. The Empire Strikes Back of Legends of Cthulhu. Oh, yeah. Get like ready. The sound of that. Get ready. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to show all these off. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having us. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Well, there you go, guys. A look at what's to come from Warpo Toys right here at C2E2. This is Pixel Dan reporting.